Hello, it's me again! And then we have... Yep, yep. Sorry about the mess, but this place is my hell. So, um, I got another comic review. This time I'm going to try to shoot them all out at once, instead of breaking them up. These were okay, I mean... They were okay. I don't know. It's hard for me to review. I'm not a critic. I'm not a, I do not write stories. I'm terrible at writing. I'm not a, an artist. I'm terrible at drawing. I'm terrible at everything. But I like what I like, and I don't like what I don't like. So, this is a little side thing. So, I'm trying to get rid of some stuff. So, I had an old PlayStation 2 and a whole bunch of games, and a Guitar Hero, and I was telling this, these people at work, hey, do you want it? Yeah, I, I bring it in, you can have it. And they're like, yeah, sure, whatever. So I bring it in, and nothing. I'm like, hey, it's in my car, we can just go get it. Nothing. They're leaving, I said, hey, don't forget about the PlayStation, it's in my car, please take it. Or they left. Especially one girl. One other girl was saying, Just give it to the goodwill! Which, listen, okay, I love conspiracies. I'm not going to give my my stuff to a nameless corporation that I have no say in. Okay? I'm not going to do it. I don't know what they do. I don't know. I, I don't know. They're a bunch, of, they're a bunch, of, bunch of wackadoos. I don't know. So, today was my day off from work, and I was going to have a nice, easy, fun day. A nice, easy, fun day. But then I thought, ah, I better get some, uh, I better sell some plasma. Because I need money. We all need money. So I said, well, if I'm going to go sell plasma, that place, it, it, it's open like all, it's like open until like, it's open 7 until 6. So I could, I could do some hours of work at my other job because they got overtime open. I could go into work at 8, work until noon. Before, you know, people start calling in, get a couple hours, then go to the plasma place. Oh, that's not a full day or anything. And then we can go to the comic book store, get some comic books, and then we can get the fryer. So yes, in case you can't hear, the air fryer is on right now. Just checking the time. So that's cool. I, I go to work and, you know, and I read some comics at work and then I, I go to the plasma place and I figure, you know, that's cool. And I get a message. Hey, d hey, Grave, can you come to work today at your other job? Yeah, I'll be there. Sorry, sorry. Was that that bad? I just pulled his eyeball out. Sorry. Sorry. I'm not going to cut those, though. I'm going to cut those eyeballs out. All right. Sorry, that was just him and me talking to each other. Okay. He's just... I don't know. He's chomping at his lips. A lot. Stop it. Okay. So that cut my time off in half for tonight. So I ended up going to the comic book store, picking up the comic books. They had so many comic books, but I already ordered them from online. I'm like, man, if you had told me, I would have bought them here. But you don't tell me these things. So I already ordered them. I already got them. <sighs> and I would have spent double at the comic book store. That's the problem with comic book stores. The comic book stores don't give you discounts. Online, they give you discounts. I mean, this, this, I don't even think I, I, I don't think I paid maybe 10 bucks for all this. I don't think so. I can go look. Let's go see. Let's just go see, okay? Because I'm pretty sure it's here. Once in future. Okay, that was, no, that was two bucks. So two dollars. This thing, I don't even, why would I order the, I don't know, I, sometimes I just order stuff, I don't even know why I order it. Do, 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 do. Oh, this was 30 cents. Okay. This was two bucks. So two, so we're up to four bucks. Four bucks, and then two Grendels I got, which I don't even know why I got two Grendels. Okay, that's 240, so we'll say that that's three... And then 
Don't we have another Grundle in here somewhere? I know it's here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Two bucks. <coughs> so what did we say? Two, four, six, nine bucks. So I spent nine bucks on, on this crap. All right, so where should we start? I guess this one. It was a prologue of a book that came out, and I had never read the book. I never knew about the book. I don't know nothing. I mean, only I can say is, man, these flipping borders are huge. I'm hoping that the book is small or something. Jeez. Um, but it talks about, I don't know, something about women are the best soldiers or something. I don't know. I don't really understand it. And it's a prologue. And it's broken up into parts of prologues. Whatever. <coughs> cool, cool, cool. I'll get rid of that. For some reason, I don't know why, I bought two copies of Grendel. Okay. I'd like to read stuff and not know anything about it. I don't know who Matt Wagner is. I don't know who Brendan Wagner... Oh, I wonder if they're related. I don't know. But in this story, you learn about um, Grendel Prime, is it? And then Sigma-7. And apparently, it's on Earth. And Earth is fighting with himself. One thing that everyone mentions... Okay, so... And I know people like to play with time. Oh, we're in the present. And we're looking for a planet. Looking for a planet. Hey, there's a planet. All the other planets suck. And this one is okay. Yay, yay, yay. I don't know what I can show you and what I can't. I don't even know. But I, I, I'm like, oh, okay. And then it jumps to the, to the past where Grendel is told that he has to go on this mission with the very phallic, and this is very phallic. I mean, come on. There is no doubt about that this thing is phallic. But he has to go in his phallic ship and then inseminate the world, but he got to do good things. He can't fight people or something because they want to have peace because peace is it. So then he goes to this planet and he and there's this, this thing and he kills it and then and then he meets someone who lives there. And he could talk, kind of, because um, Sigma-6 says, Hey, you know what? I, you could talk. And then he says, But you don't look like a god. Like, hey, dude, what, 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 what is that supposed to mean? What's that? Oh, I can look. And then they have this, um, this um, letters. But it's all from, like, famous people. And it reminds me of the South Park where everyone was just smelling their own farts. And you're like, oh, this is great. Yeah, this is great. This is great. This is great. And so then you find out in the back that this has this this story, the Grendel story, has been going on for decades. This has been going on in the 90s and the 80s and the 70s and the 60s. In fact, this has been going on. There's parts of Grendel in the Bible, okay? That's how far back the Grendel story has gone. In the Bible, there are like cave drawings, and they have these little eyes, and they go, Grendel, Grendel. So that's how old the story is. And guess what? You're always not going to know about it. You're always going to be out of the loop. And everyone knows everything more about, about, about the story than you will ever know, and they're going to smell their own farts, and it's going to be beautiful. So I'm not really that interested in it. Okay, then, I don't know which one we want to go to. Once in future, um, it's okay. Um, there's um, some people find some things. Um, it's a it's a thing that holds a sword, and um, it has no name, but they call it a scabbard that has no name. And then um, um, some guy dies. <laughs> Because he found it, and this guy wants it. Because he's bringing back Britain. Britain! And then there's this old woman. 
And I know this is an English story written by English people, but man, that shit ain't gonna fly in the States. She, no, that, no, no, that ain't gonna fly. No, no woman, no. But I do like how, I do like the drawing. I mean, you can tell who these are, and you can tell, whoa, whoa, that's a woman. Even Grandma, you can tell, she's a woman. And then, this is her grandson. And then, um, stuff happens. Oh yeah, Grandma's got to find her. <laughs> that didn't really understand. This is in no order at all. And what kind of Grandma would just throw her crap in here? But, I don't know if you can see. Silver bullets are in a box called silver bullets. Huh? What? Really? But, you know, hey, Grandma, what's this thing for? We don't need it. Go away. And so then um, she says, hey, did you hear something? And they say, yeah, I heard some dogs. And then, whoa, it's the quest beast. She doesn't really explain much, but I did like how she's like, hey, you know what? You better run. And that, that's good because that's going to keep it off me. And then, so she's trying to get something, and he's running. She, she, she says, I found it. Get over here. So then she throws them. One thing I didn't like it was a little tiny thing. This. I had no clue that she threw it. I had no, I, I looked like he threw it. But you, argh, good boy, catch. Now, because she says catch, I know that, that she threw it, but I would have liked some some way to determine that it was going this way and not this way. Because I thought, my first thought was, hey, he threw it. Where'd he get it from? In fact, I was, in fact, I saw this and I'm like looking, where did he get that? Oh, wait, no, she had it. She had it. She's thrown it. Okay. So she throws it to him, and then she's, and then he, the monster runs away, and she says, don't chase it, because uh, we're not supposed to be chasing that thing. Not yet. It's a destiny thing. It's a destiny thing. Don't worry about it. And then she says that she wants him to take her somewhere, and so she, like, takes out a gun. Like, this is his grandmother that raised him as a little baby, and then she, she, she puts a gun out on him? What? And then she shoots him. And nicks his ear, or the back of his head. I don't know. I would check his brains. I think there's a hole in there now. Okay? And then and then she, she, she still has the gun on him. You just shot him, okay? Put the gun down. Put the gun down. Put the gun down. She still got... She, put the gun... I, I would beat that woman. I don't care. You put a gun on me, you better kill me. Oh, bear back. All right, I just had my, um, what you call it, my air fried food. Yeah. Oh, I just inhaled that. Oh, let me turn that off. Dang it. Be right back. All right, I'm back. I had to find the remote. I was, I'm listening to the news, okay? Sorry, I'm listening to the news. So then, um... And there's this little thing where, you know, she's talking about the scabbard and the sword and the, the, the guy who, his sister, and then got beat up by his son. And he's like, oh, you're talking about King Arthur, and they're bringing back the king, and, and the king is dead, along with the king. Not much to say about it. I mean, I like the look. I like, I like the art. I'll go with it. Dark art, I had some hopes for, although it's an aftershock. But Colin Bunn, who's he again? I don't know. And Juan Do, treat us to dark art after the flood. I have no clue what's going on. But this is then. Okay. And these two guys, I don't know, they're told by this guy to go to a city and destroy it. Now! And then this girl, she, um, she's, she's building an ark, but there's another ark that held all the slaves. And this, this totally lost me. But apparently she killed her dad, blah, blah, blah. Then, 
Okay, la da 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 da. Stuff happens. And uh, they killed the city, and there was a baby, and they they took they kept the baby, and then now, okay, are, are we kind of done? Can we, we can tell the thens and the nows, right? Then it's yellow. Now it's blue, purple. Okay, we don't, you don't need to tell us anymore. Please, please, we stop. We stop. I can tell this. This is now, because it's blue, purple. Okay. This is then, because it's yeah. Oh, he told us again. Stop telling us this! We know it. And so then they raise the baby, and then the baby goes... Oh, and this is the baby. Spoiler alert. It's the baby. And then... And then there's the baby. And then there's the dad. He can't leave because she killed him. What's going on? I don't know. And then they put a bit of... Shoplifters will be liquidated, which I think I'm getting. I'm not sure if I'm getting. I don't know. Uh, other than that, I mean, I don't know. Who would buy this? It looks like, this looks like Alice in Wonderland and the rabbit had a baby. And now you got this. That's not good. This is, th this is something that gives Clive Barker nightmares. This, right here. He'd be like, oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, no. He'd be like this. Oh, no. Oh, no, because he can't talk anymore because he blew out his throat doing something. I don't know what he did. They say he had cancer or something, but no one ever talks about it. Like, everyone talks about cancer. They love talking about cancer. I haven't heard... Oh, yeah. I said, I haven't heard anything about this, but this is a graphic novel, and I don't buy graphic novels. These, these things just weird me out. Why are they giving me a a, a page about... A comic book that's been graded. I don't know. There's Colin Bunn. Don't worry. In five minutes you'll forget who he is. And what he looks like. There's Juan Do. Which I don't know. I mean growing up. That looked like the Unabomber. <laughs> and then. Dave Sharpie. He does letters. And that was it. Read Dangerously, everyone. At Aftershock, we work with some of the most original voices and creative visionaries in comics to take storytelling to new heights, be it horror, crime, fantasy, suspense, science fiction, or beyond. Our mission is to challenge your assumptions, push your limits, and shatter your expectations. Don't settle for the same old trade up. Aftershock has emerged as a true force to be reckoned with. The storytelling is pretty much second to none. Reading with the flight ring? I guess that's a... I don't know what is that. It's not a person, right? That's a, is that a magazine or a show? And look, I just keep on thinking... You know, they put this guy, he probably has cotton and stuff. And they just make him sit there while they take pictures of him. Because that's all cotton or something. He just has to sit there. Poor guy. Poor guy. Poor guy. This is, this is for you, man. This is for you. So, I don't know. The art's okay. I mean, I mean if you like little... Little... Ting Tang Eyes. I don't know what these are. I don't know what. What? What? How, that's, not, it's, that's not how eyes work. Teeny tiny. What? What is that? I don't know. But, you know, this is about the flood, and I don't remember much about the flood. Did they really talk that much about the flood? I mean, she, wasn't there like four books of the Bible and it's just like one story in there? So I don't know that much. I mean, I think they talked more about Job than they talked about the Ark. I don't know. So we'll see, Mr. Colin Bunn. We'll see. You're on our list, mister. We're watching you. One, two, we, we read something of yours that you, you wrote and did. I forget what that was, though. All right, well, that's it from us. We are going to try to see if we can get some real TV on. Hopefully we can. We're going to have a couple drinks, see if the computer works, and uh, see if we can upload any of this crapola. 
Alright, that's it from us. Peace out. Bye.